I am your father, Cal. At least a shadow of him. His consciousness. My name is jor -El. I have so many questions like, Why are you so tall? Are the people on my planet this big? Actually, on Krypton, they call me Big Daddy. Really? No, my idiot son. They call me Maximus. Wow, the people on Earth have made you stupid, man. Oh, big kids. It's time for your what up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Man of Steel Hot Toys jor Movie Masterpiece 1-6 scale collectible figure. Here we got the really nice packaging. It says the Man of Steel right there has the uh, House of L uh, symbol of hope uh, symbol right there. Uh, you can see uh, Krypton there in the nice background. It says Jor-El 1-6 scale collectible figure MMS 201 Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece. These inside the box has the House of L symbol as well as continues a nice picture of Krypton as well with the other side continuing that nice picture of Krypton. The top and the bottom box has the Man of Steel logo with a nice cool blue texturing. Back of box uh, continues that picture of Krypton while also having a big warning. Warning! Don't choke on your drill. He might see! There's actually a magnet on the side so when you open this up, the inside of the inlay has Hot Toys Presents Movie Masterpiece series, has all the credits of all the people who made the figure, and you get a nice window box of Jarrell in his plastic tray. Well, I think it's time to sing the praises of Jarrell! And here we got the Man of Steel Hot Toys Jarrell Movie Masterpiece 1 6 scale figure. Definitely a figure worthy of the son, the father of Superman. Let's take a closer look at it. Uh, Hot Toys has done an outstanding job on bringing live Russell Crowe's likeness. Just every bit of this is just astounding. The beard. Just his wrinkles, and it really looks like Russell Crowe without a doubt. I love the details in the hair. Just so freaking amazing. I just, wow, the head sculpt is just ridiculously realistic. Now the outfit he's wearing is when we first see him on Krypton, uh, when he's with the council and everything. I really love the details with the House of Ill uh, hope symbol right there. Love the, it's almost like armor slash like, uh, I love the fabric in here, and then underneath it is that blue fabric, the kind of like what Superman suit is made out of, and they have the gauntlets. And I love the cape, which right here, by the way, I love that neck ar arm, the armor, whatever, like up here. The cape also has a wire on it, which is really cool. Uh, I really like that a lot. There's so much detail in this outfit. I love it. It will, it does restrict the articulation a little bit, which I'll get to, but. It does look pretty freaking sweet. Whoop. And even the boots right here, much like the Superman boots. I really just, it's a really freaking awesome outfit. I really like this version. I'm glad they went with this outfit. Now, for articulation, Jarrell's head does fully rotate. Um, it says in instructions to be careful when you look down and up before you turn it. Um, now, the arms. Um, the shoulder armor is on this piece right here, so in, in theory you could rotate it. If you actually work with it, you can bring his arms pretty much up. It just kind of, because of this and this material underneath, it does kind of restrict his arm a little bit from fully rotating and going up. But it does go in and out really good. Rotates at the bicep, bends at two points at the elbow, uh, which is great. Rotates at the wrist as well as goes in and out. Now he does have upper uh, ab articulation which crunches forward and back and uh, rotates a little side to side. It does have waist articulation, rotates side to side but the outfit does restrict a little bit. Now the legs too, um, there is a zipper right here so you can pull this up if you do want to choose to make him more dynamic poses because his legs do go in and out but because of the outfit it will restrict it to that much. The legs go forward and back but like I said it's it's kind of like wearing a gown almost <laughs> for a guy that like, gets a big his robes I guess they do rotate up partly been at two points at the knee and now the ankles do pivot forward and back um, they could rotate and they ankle pivot side to side so really good articulation is just a little restrictive. Jarrell does come with a few accessories he comes with instruction manual on how to do, do a stand and uh, about his robe and he comes with three pairs of hands the relaxed hands and I have them with um, he comes with two fisted hands he comes with one hand holding his uh, Kryptonian rifle and one hand for holding the codex also comes with an extra pair of wrist pegs in case you break and he comes with this really nice Kryptonian rifle I really like the design of it it has some really awesome details right there it even has some like um, um, like little writing on there uh, really amazing paint apps on here. I really like it a lot, especially on the top right here. He comes with the codex, which looks like a freaking burnt up skull. I really love the detail and paint apps on this too. 
Looks freaking cool. And he comes with this nice display base slash stand that is the House of El Hope symbol right there. It says uh, Man of Steel Jarrell right there. Really nice, very solid base. It also comes uh, with, this is what the, di the new dynamic bases are, comes with this cradle that you actually screw on here, which really stays nice and secure once you screw it in. You can see how big this cradle is. Now, I don't know if you'll use this for drill, having this part on here, but this will be perfect when you get the Superman, because you can bend this left or right in any which way to give really dynamic poses. That's what these are great for. And they're really strong and really like, you know, it won't you know, it'll really hold the figure really good. And it has the just what crater. To be or not to be. Ugh. Not to be. That's my line, you son of a bitch. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the, the Man of Steel Jarrell is going to go with other Hot Toys figures like the Superman Returns Jarrell. He's actually a little bit taller than him, just slight. And you can see he's the same size, if about the same size as the uh, Wolverine from X-Men 3. For people like me that love Man of Steel and are big Russell Crowe fans, you will absolutely love this figure. The likeness of Russell Crowe is astounding. Uh, it is the figure might not come with a lot of accessories, but he comes with a good amount. And I do like the outfit they chose. I mean, they could have used the other one when uh, he's the hologram Jarrell, I guess. Uh, but like I said, I, I think it's really cool. I know the the articulation is a little restrictive because of the outfit, but Jarrell, what I mean, unless he was in his like big armor suit. He wasn't doing any really dynamic poses, so I don't see that being a real problem for people. He can still hold his weapons with really good poses for the most part. And I really, like I said, I really do love the figure a lot. For the people that are only casual Superman fans or did like Man Steel, I know this might not be as essential as, of course, Superman or even Gerald Zod. But like I said, Jarrell was a, a key character in the movie, and I love Russell Crowe's performance. I know the price, too. This retails for about... 215 to 20. Uh, I know that might be a lot. It might be because of Russell Crowe's likeness rights, but to me, it's well worth it. I was really excited to finally have a Hot Toys Russell Crowe Jarrell. I really, I'm really happy with the figure. And like I said, even even with the restrictive articulation price, I still recommend it uh, highly. Uh, for more geek news, reviews, podcasts, and more, go to um, hugenerds.net and seanxlong.com. I'm Sean Long, we're celebrating them in a big way. And Happy New Year! Where does he get those wonderful toys? He gets them at alterigocomics.com. Excuse me, he was saying he gets them at alterigocomics.com. <laughs> for the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit alterigocomics.com. They take PayPal, pre order, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for Hot Toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? BKPN.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> On behalf of Jarrell, Wolverine, and Catwoman, we want to wish you all Hot Toys fans and Sean X Long fans Happy New Year. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and all lang side? Whoa, 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 bub, 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 stop. Wait, what is it, Wolvie? Uh, I think for New Year's resolution, you should learn how to sing.